Hey there, it's Mallory here with cats.com. We're all about cats and this is my cat, Wessie. And in this week's video, I want to uh, move away from kind of our typical topics and talk about a particular cat breed. So ordinarily I'll talk about non-purebred cats and here at cats.com we will advocate for adoption of non-purebred cats rather than purchasing from breeders. But there's one particular breed that I wanted to experiment with talking about a little bit which is the Maine Coon. I think there's something uniquely captivating about the Maine Coon, including its tufted ears, the huge body size, the fluffy coat. Everything about the Maine Coon comes together to make this really compelling and interesting package. I remember when I was much younger, before we even adopted our first cat, reading a series of books about different cat breeds, and the Maine Coon definitely stood out to me. So in this video, I wanted to share some interesting facts about the Maine Coon, so maybe you'll come away with a bit of a better understanding of this breed, whether you have a Maine Coon at home or you're just fascinated by all of the different shapes and sizes that cats can come in. As you may have guessed from the name Maine Coon, this is a uniquely American cat breed and is one of the oldest American cat breeds out there. So it's first appeared in American literature back in 1861 and it was recognized as a formal breed in 1976. The Maine Coon first was developed in the Northeastern United States. And even though it kind of looks similar to the Norwegian forest cat and the Siberian forest cat, these other uh, European breeds that also developed in kind of cold climates, uh, the Maine Coon seems to be a distinctly American cat. Researchers looking at the genetics of the Maine Coon found that it was kind of convergent evolution and not relatedness that causes these cats to look similar. So we're seeing that these cats are coming from kind of similarly cold environments and they're developing characteristics that make them well adapted to these environments. So it is a distinctly American cat. As it turns out, the Maine Coon has more genetic similarity to randomly bred cats from the Northeastern United States, New York region, than those cats from Europe. There is some mystery surrounding how exactly the Maine Coon cat came to be. There's a story saying that a sailor brought over some kind of Persian and Angora cats from France in preparation for an escape by Marie Antoinette, but there seems to be little evidence for that actually being true, and the genetic evidence seems to contradict it as well. What seems most likely is that there are a combination of factors going on. So we have European cats coming in with certain characteristics and then they're combining with the native cat population over on the Northeastern United States. And they started to develop these characteristics that would help them to cope well with the cold weather and conditions. And as people started to selectively breed them to have these characteristics, it started to cohese into this distinctive cat breed. There are also some stories going around about the origin of the Maine Coon uh, genetically. Some have said that the Maine Coon comes from a bobcat or a lynx or even from a raccoon. Uh, there's no evidence for any of this being the case. Um, the Maine Coon is simply a domesticated cat that has certain features that help it to survive well in a cold climate. Perhaps the most obvious of these adaptations is the Maine Coon cat's size. Maine Coons tend to be heavy. They typically range between 10 and 20 pounds, while the average cat of other breeds is going to range between 6 and 12 pounds. But the largest individuals can be up to 25 pounds uh, if they're male and up to 18 pounds if they're female. So these cats get really big. But perhaps even more noticeable than their weight is their length. So Maine Coon cats tend to be very long. You've probably seen these pictures of record holding Maine Coon cats kind of stretched out. A Maine Coon can measure up to three feet from the tip of their nose to the tip of their tail. They really are massive cats. Growing this big takes time. And so the Maine Coon cat, interestingly, takes longer to reach maturity than cats of other breeds. It can take a Maine Coon three to four years to reach their adult size. These cats will kind of stay kittens technically for a very long time. Of course, you'll also notice that the Maine Coon has this very distinctive coat. It's thick and fluffy and warm, and it is composed of two layers. So they have a double coat. The bottom layer of a Maine Coon cat's coat is very soft and fluffy. It's intended to keep the cat warm. This is referred to as the undercoat. And then they have a top coat that is 
intended a little bit more for protection. The guard hairs are going to be a little bit more oily. They help to repel water a little bit and they help to make the cat kind of tidy and shiny. Those are the hairs that you're really seeing on the cat's body. You're going to have to dig a little bit deeper to find that fluffy undercoat. In addition to the guard hairs in the top coat, there are on hairs, and on hairs act kind of like a combination of undercoat hairs and guard hairs. They help to protect and also keep the cat warm. Another interesting fact about Maine Coon cats is that they tend to enjoy water more than cats of other breeds. So you might see a Maine Coon playing in water, splashing around, enjoying baths. It's a lot more likely to see a water-friendly Maine Coon than cats of other breeds. Similarly, they tend to be very playful, very affectionate, and very human-oriented. These traits tend to be kind of bred into pure red cats. Cats tend to be selected for these qualities, and so we start to see down the line cats who tend to be more friendly, sociable, and attached to their humans. So all of these are traits that you're going to see in a typical Maine Coon cat. My last fact about Maine Coon cats is that they are the official state cat of Maine. So if you are a Mainer, and then you'll know that the Maine Coon is your state cat. I hope this video gave you a better understanding and appreciation of the magnificent Maine Coon breed. Again, uh, whether your cat is purebred or not purebred, each individual cat is special and distinctive in their own way. So I just wanted to share a little bit of appreciation of this particular breed. Let me know in the comments uh, if you have a Maine Coon of your own, what you think about this breed. And if you don't have a Maine Coon, what is the most special thing about your cat? I'm looking forward to seeing your comments and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.